was Friday, October 10th, 2003, and due to a Metrodome scheduling snafu, your Michigan football Wolverines were forced to play underneath Friday night lights for the first time since their high school days against the Minnesota Golden Gophers. Number 19, Michigan, and number 13, Minnesota. Minnesota the favorite tonight, despite losing the last 14 head-to-head -head against the Wolverines. Minnesota trying to remain undefeated. They're 6-0. Michigan stumbled early in the 2003 season, losing at both Oregon and Iowa in the opening weeks, and was looking to pick up its first road win as it brought a lowly 4-2 record into the contest. Minnesota, on the other hand, was an undefeated 6-0 number 13 in the country, and considered this battle for Little Brown Drug the most important in many a year. Well, it's a big game for Minnesota, obviously, and as we talked to players in the last day or so, including Abdul Khalid, Khalid, he said he was nervous. He started thinking about the game Monday. He, he was getting excited about it, and all the other players as well. And the Michigan trend of struggling on the road continued as Minnesota ran all over the Wolverines. Barber following to pay, running room in the corner. Aaron Barber! By the end, they'd amassed 423 yards, the most ever by a Michigan opponent. Marion Barber and Lawrence Maroney each scored touchdowns in the first half from the Golden Gophers, and things looked bad for Michigan. Very bad. Navarre crunch on the last play of the half by Paul Nixon and Daryl Reed. It's like the mouth piece. guard went no, flying think, right I, out of there. I think that was an ear, that's an ear, that's an earpiece. That's oh. somebody's earpiece. Oh, man. They're going to see it go flying. Oh, oh wow. wow. Even Lloyd Carr admitted his team's lackluster first half performance. Well, we've got to stop making penalties, and we've got to run the football better. And uh, the biggest thing, we've got to protect better. It seemed as though the Wolverines were coming back to life as John Navarre, derided as the most lead-footed Michigan quarterback in history, outran the Minnesota defense on an epic trick play. Navarre inside the 15. Touchdown, Michigan! Can you say trickeration? But Minnesota responded just three minutes later, going back to Lawrence Maroney. First, there's Maroney with a first down, and a touchdown! After some nice games, Michigan stalled on the Minnesota 37, and the nightmare for Michigan continued. It's a pass and a bad pass. Navarre threw it too far ahead of Perry, who was open with the running room necessary to pick up the first down. And that's going to get the folks in Ann Arbor all over him. Minnesota took the ball after the Navarre miscue and promptly scored their fourth touchdown of the game. And with confidence in John Navarre at an all-time low among the Michigan faithful, it seemed as if this game and this season was lost. Stunning, but it's going to be on John Navarre's shoulders the rest of the way. He's gotten a lot of criticism about not having big games in big games. Yep. Fourth quarter is going to be all on him, and can he get it done for Michigan? Despite having the cards stacked against him, John Navarre answered that question with a resounding yes. First, leading this quick touchdown drive to narrow the deficit to 14. Then, Jacob Stewart got into the act as he returned an interception for a touchdown, and just like that, the Wolverines were within seven. But Minnesota would not see its lead quietly. Saad Abdul Khalik seemed to put the final nail in Michigan's coffin with this disheartening touchdown run. Snap it with one, he has the first down! He's going to score! Touchdown, Minnesota! More than Minnesota, John Navarre wanted to exercise his demons, and with the help of Chris Perry, the sleeping maize and blue giant awoke from a three-quarter slump to tie the game for the first time since 0-0. Michigan looking for the tying touchdown. From the 10, the deep handoff, Perry walks in! Touchdown, Wolverine! After a defensive stop, it was Navarre again, leading the team into field goal range with less than a minute on the clock. Then Garrett Rivas, only a freshman, hit his first game winning And that field. is right down the middle. Michigan leads for the first time tonight. And after Marcus Curry interception, the game was over. Michigan had escaped in its biggest comeback in its storied history, with its season, thankfully, intact. This gives us a chance to stay in the race for another week. Michigan will retain the Little Brown Jug.